In this screencast, I will demonstrate how the new Setup Networks Interactive Dialog works. We'll start by adding two networks to our data center. The first is a VLAN network. We could change the MTU for this network. The default is 1500. The second network is a non-VM network, meaning it cannot be used by VMs, but rather for other purposes, such as a storage network. Now we'll assign the new networks to the cluster we plan on working with. Note that by default, the network is marked as a required network. When a network is, is configured as required, any host without that network will be set to non-operational. This is the Setup Networks dialog. The dialog allows you to, to see an overview of the NICs and networks of this host. You can do almost any network host related action, such as attach a network to a NIC, create a bond, and so on. We'll attach our new networks to the same NIC, create a bond between two NICs, with our preferred bond mode. Now let's change the boot protocol to static. And, for the second network, we'll change the boot protocol to dynamic. Finally, we'll check the Save Network Configuration checkbox. As you can see, the new host networks have been updated. If we take a look at the Setup Networks dialog once more, the networks are now updated, as well as their boot protocols. Thank you for watching.